All right, I'm still climbing the second ridge in the back, and I see a possible antler. <laughs> yeah, baby, it's an old one, but I found one. One, two, three, four. Jeez, it's probably a six point on one side. Which brings me to my next subject, since we're walking. I'm going to talk and walk. So there's the fence line on that second dip right there. And we're still on this second big ridge. And it looks like we're going to top out on this 20, which would be really good. This 20 goes all the way to that field. There's a field on the west side. Okay. It's clearly an old road up here. But like Curtis said, it hasn't been used for a while. This is this is just a raw piece of 40. It's a raw land. This is kind of what you want to look for. I mean, yeah, it'll take a ton of work to spruce it up, but man, it's kind of gems you look for. Now you just got to get it at like either low end or below market value. There's a nice white oak. Look at this pretty view up here. I see another micro plot right in here. Yeah, right, right where we're standing. Yeah, you come these trees out. yeah and you could leave the big, you know, leave the big the oaks, yeah. Take all this thinner all junk. The There's a sassafras, looks like dead one right there. All right, check back in. All right, we're still on the ridge top road and we found our second deer stand. We both agree that that first one, we think that's a Shawnee cheater on that, that first one because it was right on the line. So it's probably someone local who was, quote, hunting on the Shawnee, even though he's right on a private line. But that's to be expected. Well, this is a nice uh, plot spot right here. Look at how flat it is up here. Down here. Yeah, long one right here. Nice. So here's the fence line, far north line. This old skitter road comes through this old fence line. But another thing I look for is, so this is private to the north. You know, you want to see what's what kind of pressure you got, like right along your boundaries, as far as hunters, uh, houses garbage piles, party areas, whatever. It's nice to know what's right along your borders. There you can see the fence. Usually you look for deer stands. Okay, so I am facing, let me get it right here, west, and that field is the end of the property. So this, this is a very big ridge right here that we just walked. It's good to own the entire ridge top for wildlife reasons and other reasons. And then it goes straight down. I don't know if you could see it. There's another creek bottom down there and then you're gonna hit that field. Now, if that's a crop field, that would be huge, huge. From here, I can't tell what it is. But if that was a cash crop field, you know, corn and beans, that's, that's a really big plus. For the deer hunters because they're going to just bed up on these ridges and you put a nice micro plot on the top they'll be hitting this all afternoon before they go out in the open in the big field Let's check out this last creek bottom i had to borrow curtis's jacket and i told him oh, it's all sweaty now he's like well it needs to be washed anyway man i want to find a recent shed but i think this ties me up with sharon Maybe I can take the lead. Oh wait, what what do you mean it don't count if I'm on another property? It says who? Alright, let's get down to the bottom here and I'll show you the creek. Alright, to me it looks like a hay field. Horses or cattle. However, I would bet that these deer follow this creek bottom in here inside of this field edge. I'd bet a dollar to a dozen donuts. Got some nice pretty rock down here. Let me 
snake my way around without falling on my face. Another, another pretty little creek. Now, the other thing I do listen for, I know we're not far from Highway 34, which is the main highway. So the wind is blowing towards it now, so you're not gonna hear it. But when the wind shifts and comes out of, let's say the west, then you're gonna hear that highway noise a little bit more. But down here, the highways are just, there's not a ton of traffic on them. Let's see if I can cross this somewhere and get up close to that field. Okay, I ran into the fence line, which is good. Fences are good. So this, that big cluster of trees is basically the corner, the far north west corner. And there you could hear from that way a truck. Even though the wind's going that way, that's the highway, but it's it's not bad. There's the fence line right there. Nice deer crossing right here. A little bit older one, but they were using it. Here's a better look at the fence line. It's always a, usually a good spot to put one of your roads along the property line. You stay out of the middle of yours. I mean, of course you put intersecting roads if you can, but if you can put a perimeter road, it's usually pretty good for you. All right, we found our next stand here. He's hunting a ridge top here that we just walked, but he's a little, a little bit more south than what we were walking. It's got a nice view from up here. There, that ridge top looks like it's going to go down into the Shawnee. So they're going to cruise this ridge top, I bet. But we're right about in the middle of the 20 right here. Look at the terrain. It's pretty. All right, let's head back, find some sheds on the way. Hey guys, Capper here. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're pretty excited about the possibilities on this deal. Currently where we're at, I'm not going to go into exact figures or anything, but we made them an offer and they have made us a counter offer. We are right now $8,000 apart. So we are going to send them another counter offer where we will only be $3,000 apart. And that's what we're hoping the target price is that they will accept our uh, counter offer and we will have a deal on this. So we're pretty excited about the possibilities. Definitely stay tuned because um, this is going to be a fun project and hopefully it's just going to be a quick turnaround flip farm and we'll bring you along during uh, the entire process. But stick with us on the second half of the walk back because we cover new ground and we find another antler shed and discover some different views and terrain and ridges and so forth so let's finish the walk back and definitely stay tuned thanks a lot Curtis sees a possible no just another one of the 10,000 white sticks oh it is one double prizes oh Wait a minute, put it back and let me find it and then I'll be ahead of Sharon. <laughs> oh, hey, look, babe. Oh. Now I'm in the lead, look at this. Look at the double prizes. That's another old one too. Darn Still counts. It. Yeah, it counts, <laughs> it's, it's, it's in the rule book. We were just talking about a long skinny micro plot on this ridge. Now we're down towards the Shawnee on the south end of this big ridge. So that's we connected up there where we came through and where's that, that ladder stand, the old one should be up in there. Yeah. So connect that uh, to make, the one going that way. Yeah, make a T or an L. Yeah, this looks like it's getting thick down in here. 
we kind of want to get to the Shawnee and see if it's marked, which I, I don't think it is, but it'd be nice if it was. So now we're down in the bottom between the two big ridges. Looks like one on each 20. And we're trying to find the boundary line to the Shawnee here to the south. So your, uh, your 20 acres basically is equivalent of probably a couple hundred. That Shawnee block looked to be at least 80 or 100. And if a guy were disabled, a guy could get a permit to drive a four-wheeler on the Shawnee. Then it would really be like your own big playground. Except a lot less taxes. Another little rub right there. As far as timber goes, yeah, you ain't gonna get a logger to come in here. I mean, not unless he's working on like the property next door. But it's not bad. It's not like it's recently been cut, like you know, a year or two ago. A lot of turkey sign, a lot of scratched up pockets of leaves looking for acorns. Overall, it's a nice piece of land. It's like a deer bed right there. And then another little rub right here. Probably just a little guy though, but lots of trails up and down across these ridges. Oh. You can almost see that trail right there. Of course, it's an old skitter road too. Got a little patch of pines here, it's kind of pretty. All right, uh, we're working our way back, but we're still pretty remote, probably in the uh, center of this whole thing. Curtis is just above that ridge right there. You hear that? Did you hear that? Oh crap, that's a squatch. Curtis is up there. Let's get the heck out of here, man. Let's get out of here. Oh, look at this rub. It's a nice rub. Hold on. All right, I'm out. That's probably going to be the end of the tour if I don't get caught. Oh, wait, look at this tree. I'm like, see, I'm like Sharon now. I'm getting distracted. Look at that thing. I think I just got probably clo too close to their, their den.
So there's the cabin up there, kind of on the hill. This is the little patch of woods here in between the cabin and the Shawnee. It's actually a pretty good sized chunk of woods as the cabin is located towards the north side of the property. So it goes quite a ways down and then it goes up another ridge right there. So that ridge is definitely on this 20 also. That'd be a third ridge. The camp cook and hunt right down here, the lazy guy, just just a few yards from the cabin, set up a stand down here. So here's the road. Curtis is up by the cabin. Obviously, it's a pretty quiet road. So all this on the right is the the 20. I just want to see, we're going out this way anyways, Curtis can pick me up. Just want to see where the Shawnee meets the 20, if there's any markers or anything. I mean, you could, if that ridge is squarely on the 20, you could put another, another plot up there, drive down the road with your four-wheeler, Cut a road right in here. Wouldn't be that bad. It'd be easy in, easy out access. Of course, I'd put a fence or a gate or something along this road just to be safe. Here comes Curtis. I don't think they have this marked at all. The Shawnee. It's just, I think it's just one of them rough blocks. No markings, no roads, no nothing, which is what you'd rather have. Justin, Justin. <laughs> hey, can I put, how about there? Can we use your stick, Justin? Yeah, I need to borrow, I need to borrow your post here. <laughs> it's more land for sale. Turkeys crossing, bunch of jakes. <laughs> <laughs> 